let me show you how you can get some stock data from in Google Sheets. So perhaps you have want to get some information on some stocks that you own in a portfolio, and perhaps you'd like the price, the open price, you know, the volume, the market cap, PE, and beta. Okay, these are what are referred to as attributes in the function we're going to use called Google Finance. Here I've typed in some ticker symbols, Microsoft, J&J, &J, Google, and Apple. And I want to bring this in here. Um, I want to get this information. So I'm going to type equals G-O-O-G. And you can see, maybe not too well on the video, it says Google Finance. It's already filled it in for me. So I'm just going to click it. Now, it doesn't give you the syntax or the format for what to type in here. but there's a little question mark here if it isn't already opened you can click that on and it gives you some information it gives you the syntax it's rather small here but if you click on learn more you get something a little bigger over here to look at and it shows you the format for example Google Finance open parenthesis quote NASDAQ colon G-O-O-G unquote comma quote price unquote etc and then the date format so in Google Finance the arguments you put in here have to be put in as text so you have to put quotes around them and in fact you can specify the exchange that um, the stock trades on now when you have Google it's not too big a deal but if you're looking at stocks that might trade on the London Stock Exchange or the Toronto Stock Exchange, you may want to put that in to make sure it's looking up the correct price. And if you scroll down here, it shows you some of the different variables you can have. So the format is ticker, attribute, and then the start date and the end date. So it gives you some of these different attributes, price, price open, some of these I have here. And if you're looking at historical data, you can get the open, the close for a spe uh, specific date, the, um, the volume, etc. Or you can, you can also click in all to get all of the above. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So I've got Google Finance in here. Let me just close this uh, window here. And I'm going to say Microsoft. And I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the A because I want to copy this across and I don't want the column to change. I want it to look for that, you know, Microsoft ticker symbol. I'm going to put in a comma and I'm going to click price and I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the three because when I copy down I don't want that to change either. You'll notice I didn't put quotes in and the reason I didn't need to put quotes in is if you've worked with Excel when you type something into the cells if you don't uh, put an equal sign in, it treats it as text. So it's already treated as text. You don't need the um, quote sign. Let me close the parenthesis and we get Microsoft's stock price. And I can copy this down. Hopefully I've done this correctly. And I get the prices for J&J, &J, Google, and Apple. And I can also copy across as well. So let me just do one row first. And here we see we get again the open price, high, low volume, market cap, etc. Okay, volume is a little hard to read because it's a big number and uh, there are no um, commas in there. So let me just reformat. Let me get rid of the places after the decimal. Okay, market cap's an even bigger number. And again, I'll do the same thing. So this drop down menu, I'm going to choose number and then I'm going to reduce the number of. Um, decimal, I'm going to get rid of the decimal places. And it's quite large. It's, you know, the market cap for Microsoft is almost $2 trillion. So that's quite large. I've seen people adjust this by dividing it by a million and then putting up here, you know, that it's in units of a million. I'm not going to do that right now. And let me just copy all of this down to the rest of the uh, companies. And so we have all of this information. We've got their beta, we've got their PE ratios, and again, we could reformat these. And there are a lot of things you can do with this. Okay, you could create 
look at prices and you could put in things like uh, a target buy price for yourself and if the target buy price is less than the current selling price then you could create a column using if statements that says you know print a buy if it's you know greater than a certain number and that's there's a sell price you could have it put in sell and I could show you how to do that but and I've seen people do that but the problem is is that the video some of those videos take half an hour to do and that's really quite long so so here you have all this information kind of nice now I want to show you one other neat thing you can do so suppose you're using Microsoft Excel now if you're using newer versions or you have Excel 365 they have a function called stock history where you can do exactly this but if you happen to be using an older version of Excel you may not have that function available to you but what you can do is you can create this in Google Sheets and then export it to uh, Excel and it will continue to update just like it does in Google Sheets so let's see if we can figure out how to do that so what you want to do is you want to go to file and share and you say publish to the web so I want to publish this to the web I want to publish the entire document and let's say I use the comma separated values the CSV function um, format I could also use the uh, Excel format I'll just use this one okay and what it does is it creates a link for you so let me click that on let me copy that link and now I'm gonna to go to Excel and let me make my stuff bigger and if you go to data you can go to get data and right here there's it says from web so can't see it too much but it looks like a little document with a little you know world thing there so I'm gonna click that on and I'm gonna type in this URL it created for me and I'm gonna say okay and there it is and I'm gonna say load and it's getting the external data and there it is it's created the same the same little spreadsheet that we had in Google Sheets now and it will continue to update if it doesn't update you can click data and click refresh all and when the numbers change things will change I think the uh, PE just changed a second ago so you can see those numbers change so this is a a really neat way to be able to use this if you're using an older version of um, of Excel I also saw somebody using this not for stock data but for keeping information that uh, he was sharing with other people or he liked working in Excel so he downloaded it and other people could see the file as well and they could also you know get this sheet that would keep updating so I hope that's useful and um, it's a great way to use uh, Google Sheets to get data and you can even bring it in nicely into your Excel document